Welcome to FGRB TV. Ladies and gentlemen, I told you I'd be back. And if you watched the last video, you knew that I'd be coming back because what I told you in the last video is exactly what just happened at the Emirates. Man United, Saturday. Man, first of all, Man United just got handed their first loss in the league since Ole Gunnar Solskjaer returned to Old Trafford. And uh, Arsenal, my gun has beat them 2 0. And uh, now we've gone fourth. We're one point behind arch rivals Tottenham Hotspur, who lost to Southampton yesterday uh, on a wonder strike free kick from James Ward Prowse, who also should buy in the summer. Yep, he can replace Ramsey. Easy. Um, but anyway, so, and they play Liverpool next, so Liverpool should beat them. And we win our game, mate, we're in third place, yeah? Yeah, we're about to get Tottenham. We're coming for you, Tottenham. But anyway, let's stay on task and talk about the game today. It was exactly what I told you was going to happen. Your boy knows a little bit about footy ball. Man United sat in and wanted to counterattack. And that only really works if you get that first goal. And when Lukaku missed that chance at the back post... When Lukaku missed that chance at the back post and hit the crossbar, which he should have scored, I don't rate Lukaku. The, the Champions League has been robbed because they, we get to see we have to see Lukaku in the next round instead of Mbappe. But that's in the last video. Once he missed that chance, I said, you know what? It's going to go our way today because that was a massive, massive moment in the game. If United had scored first, it would have been a totally different story. They would have been able to really get to sit in and counter counter us uh, the way they would have liked, and we would have forced the issue we would have exposed ourselves more but because he missed the game remained 0-0 we continue to play our game we're still under control and of course shock hits the shot that bamboozles the great David Gigea and also takes the lead 1-0 of course you guys are going to ask well, well that wasn't a pen that wasn't a pen yeah I wouldn't have called it either it was a soft penalty but now you know how it feels right well you got that soft penalty last week in midweek against PSG Remember when you got that rubbish PK? How does it feel? How does it feel? We didn't even have to use VAR. He just called it. It was a soft pen. If they didn't give it, I wouldn't have freaked out. But Fred looked, he looked guilty. He was close. He was stretching. And it looked like he did something. He didn't do anything clearly, but it looked like he did something. So it was given. So how does it feel, Man United? To have to go down and lose on a penalty that really wasn't a pen. PSG must be laughing right now like, ah, see, that's what you get. That's what you get. It, it, it went according to plan, just as I told you. 2-0, neat for the Arsenal. We've gone fourth. One point behind Tottenham. Chelsea drew with uh, Wolves today, which is great for us as well. So, also the remaining games, we played no one in the top six. Which is fine. and uh, But we've got a tough game. We have to play Wolves. They're going to be tough. I looked at the schedule, man. The eight games remaining, I believe, something like that. Eight, nine games remaining. They're not easy. There's no easy game in the Premier League. Hence why it's the, the toughest league in the world. No easy games. Every game is going to be hard. But it's in our hands. I'm very proud of the lads. Uh, Shaka put in a shift. My player of the match, I would have to say... Is Bird Leno. Did you see that kick save? Did you see that kick save he had on Lukaku in the second half? Did you? Did you see when he came off his line and intercepted a through ball where Lukaku was in on goal, took off his foot? Did you see that? What about when he, he made the, the, the sprawling uh, right-hand save when Lukaku was in again and then Lukaku kicked it over his head and went out of bounds and, and Delo ran to go get it? Bird Leno, man of the match, again for me. He was great at Wembley last week, uh, and he was great again today. Um, very happy, very happy with the results. Thought the lads played well. Uh, how great was Nacho Monreal? Nacho Monreal was si fantastic, no? Great performance by Na Nacho Monreal. Uh, again, uh, Koscielny uh, turned back the clocks and looked fantastic. He really pocketed Lukaku. Every time he was matching with Lukaku, Lukaku couldn't find him. He was like a rash. He was all over him. It was awesome. Uh, Maitland-Niles was fantastic as well. It was a great, great performance by 
everyone in the team. Mesut Ozil put in a shift. I don't believe there was anybody out there who I felt needed to be yanked. At, at, at a point, before we even, I think right after we got the penalty, I was like, you know what? Unai Emery might go Iron Man and have these guys play. The, the, this, the, this first 11 is going to play the whole game. I didn't really see him. I didn't really, if he didn't make a change, I would be like, that's okay. These guys, this is a big game, and, and nobody wants to come off. But, you know, uh, Aubameyang came off. He did well on his penalty. Uh, and Warby comes on, and uh, uh, Eddie Nketiah came on as well, and so did Dennis Suarez, which is cool. But I tell you, it was exactly what I said. Why and, and where where was the change? Where was the change? Where was the change uh, from uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? Where was the change? There's no change. There's no change. He does the same thing all the time, every week. The, oh, Man United have been riding, riding the the adrenaline of the departure of Mourinho. That's all it was. They've been riding the the adrenaline of that, and some things have bounced their way. They haven't been great. They don't. They 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 play counterattack football. That's what Mourinho plays. They just play. They just play with a smile on their face, and they don't want to defend as hard. If Mourinho was coaching that Man United team today, it would have been a whole different story for us. Because Mourinho gets. If people listen to Mourinho, they become a very hard team to beat. Very hard team to beat. But what what United's got going on right now? I I will take our Arsenal team and play them. Anywhere, any day of the week, and I believe we can beat them. They're not scary. They don't boss the midfield. They don't put you under the cosh. All they want to do is hit you on the break on the counter, run down, kick it, and go real quick, and then try to go do a Millie Rock in the corner. Guess what? No Millie Rock today, bro. No Michael Jackson today, bro. Yeah. Yeah, Lingard, you didn't play, so what? But all your boys were there, and guess what? Caught that L2. Oh, all they do is counterattack. Counterattack merchants. They never keep possession. And for me, you gotta want to boss the game, not just steal the game. Counterattacking is stealing the game, where you are like, okay, the other team's gonna have the ball. They're gonna put us under the cosh. We've gotta find moments where we can break out and go. You only do that when you're inferior to somebody. You can't play like that every day of the week. You know. And and I'll be fair. United were away from home. They knew that we like to keep it and we like to come for people. So they tried to set up to get the counter. But it wasn't on. We were um, uh, Socrates was good. Koscioni was good. My boy Nacho Monreal is fantastic. Ramsey put in a shift. Everybody was spot on today. Just as I said, we had to put it in. We had to put in the shift today, and they did it. Very proud of the lads. They should feel good. And now we need to kick on and get this solidify our position in the top four and get ready for Champions League next season because it's coming. It's coming. And for all those all those pundits who were saying that, oh, Arsenal is regressing with Una Emre, what about all those fans who were crying midweek because we lost to Ren? We don't care about the Europa League, bro. Clearly, the boys have already showed you. This game today was way bigger than a trip to Ren, and we can still turn it around against Ren. And I'm sure that we'll turn it around against Ren. We'll beat them 3-0. At the Emirates, and then we'll go to the next round. But I don't even care about winning it. Let's qualify for the Champions League through the Premier League. Let's let's get let's get as close to Liverpool as we possibly can, because they're not going to pass Man City. Man City going to win the league anyway. So that that's where it is, you know. Europa League, it's kind of a distraction, man. It's kind of a distraction. It's like dating a really hot chick, right? Then another girl who's kind of hot, trying to looking at you. Yeah, she all right, but dude, look at the girl you got. She's bad, bro. Concentrate on what you got. That's the Premier League. Concentrate. Don't look at. Don't look on your peripherals. No, focus on the Premier League. Get it done. You get me? We finished three, uh, uh, third or fourth, Champions League, baby. We good. We got the big show, and I believe we we should do it. It's still in our hands, and like I said, it's going to be hard, but we gotta make. We gotta. We gotta roll our sleeves up and get it done. Roll our sleeves and get it done. That's what we got to do. But, yeah, it feels good. Love beating United. Love beating United. They don't scare me. The teams that scare me in the world, Man City, the way they play is tough. They always have the ball. You have to defend. They're always finding passes. They're, they're a problem. Barcelona is the same way. Um, Atletico is tough. They're frightening because they like to defend and they're hard to break down. And then when they come after you, they're tough. So... 
those are the type of teams that, like, you know, when you are matched up against you, are like, oh, God, they're going to be tough. Last time I felt last season when I knew we had to play Atletico, when I knew that they dropped down to Europa League, I was like, nope, we're not winning it now. Because them dudes, if they're, in, if they're in the tournament, they're going to be a problem. And what they do? They won the tournament. So, Man United don't scare me, bro. No team in England scares me or worries me aside from Man City. Everybody else, we can play. Everybody else, it's game on. City, we can try to play, but they, they take advantage of mistakes you make. They have the ball all the time. So the lesson is, if you have the ball, you decide how it's going to go. That's what City does. And Man United never wanted the ball today. They just wanted a counterattack. So we're like, fine, we're going to take, we're going to, we're going to, uh, fend you off Don't give you any real opportunities to counter And we're going to get our goals So there it is Arsenal 2, Manchester United 0 We've gone fourth. We're feeling good We just got to win the next game to make it count Win our next game, right In the league And uh, leapfrog Liverpool uh, le Leapfrog Tottenham because they play Liverpool next And uh, it's going to be At Liverpool At Anfield, so Liverpool should beat them. They should beat them, yeah. But um, I also wanted to touch on two things before this is over. Um, the situation with Jack Grealish at Aston Villa and Birmingham in, the, uh, in that derby over there. And uh, I want to talk about Sergio Ramos a little bit too. But the whole thing, I just wanted to give a big, uh, big shout out to Jack Grealish for continuing to play on today after getting sucker punched by a fan. That is absolutely unacceptable. It's not cool, man. It's not cool. No. If you want to fight the dude, if you're so tough you want to fight him, right, go to the club so and he can see you coming and be like, I want my fair one. I don't like you. Let's fight. Don't come running on the field during the game where we are trying to enjoy ourselves and watch a good game and you want to come on here and run on the field and do something dumb like that. If you want to fight the man, send him an email. Show, show up at his door. You can get his address. Show up. Let's see how far you go to go on that route if you're so tough. Let him see you coming. Don't come running on the field from the back. Or at least, if you ran on the field, bro, turn, turn him around and be like, Jack, I'm going to punch you in the face. But no, you're a punk. You run on the field. The guy's not looking. You sucker punch him. And then he still scores the win and beats your team. This, that guy should be banned for life. Never, he should be banned for life from every single stadium in the world basketball arenas hockey arenas cricket get matches every football stadium he shouldn't be allowed to go to any sporting event again stay at your house and watch it there bro wherever you live stay over there and if i ran any bars he won't be in my bar either because you know he's gonna fight in there too so that guy should be banned for life they, they they're talking about birmingham getting our points deduction Woo, man that, that, should, that should let every fan know right there. Don't And the, the thing is, some dude at Arsenal ran on the field today. He ran on the field today. He didn't do anything. He, he did, I mean, he, just, he was over there taunting the United guys and trying to celebrate with the dudes. Bro, don't go get points taken off us, man. You better knock that off. But, yeah, so big up to Jack Grealish. His, his response after the game was class. Um... He was just, you know, he was very, very, uh, uh, he was such a consummate professional in how he handled it. Um, I, I, I thought that his teammates should have helped him out a little bit more than they did. But it, it's tough because if the dude runs up and snuffs your captain, right, and then you go over there and you snuff him, they put, they, they put charges on you, man. They put charges on you, and then now you got to go to the whole court situation. You're probably going to get fined. All You're losing your money. You're probably not getting to play games. It's so hard, man. But uh, there's no place for that in, in any in any. There's no place for that anywhere. No place for that anywhere, man. Unless nah, unless nothing. There's no place for that anywhere. So big up to Jack Grillis for for uh, handling it the way that he did. And um, and uh, yeah, uh, if anybody runs in the field touching players, trying to punch dudes in the face, and and people are saying some scary stuff like, yo, what if he had a knife? Whoa. First of all, how you getting this thing in with a knife? I guess it's possible. I don't know. But they better get some uh, metal detectors at all these stadiums now, too. Don't come here with nothing. Nobody wants to see any type of drama like that. Okay? So stop. Um, but, yeah. So what if he had a knife or something, dude? No. Not cool. But, yeah, man. He, he, he hit him pretty good, too. 
he, he, I think he got a good hit on him. I mean, my man hit the deck. He fell on the ground, but not cool. I mean, I wish they should have, like, honestly, that's, somebody should have choked the dude out. Like, when he hit his man, when Jack got hit, somebody should have just ran up on him and grabbed him, threw him to the ground, and started choking him out. Just a little bit to let him know, like, you're not coming in here doing all that. You're not. And, and you're not going to walk out waving like, yeah, I just punched Jack Lewis in the face. No. You should be gasping for air or something. I wish they could have beat him up, but you can't do that because, like I said, you, you get the cops on you. But, uh, yeah, so so big ups to Jack Grealish. And lastly, um, I read somewhere this morning before kickoff that if Jose Mourinho returns to Real Madrid, Sergio Ramos wants to go to Juventus. But listen, this is my, this is my plea and my cry out to Sergio Ramos. Sergio, if you want to solidify your legacy in world football, there's only one place you can go if you leave Real Madrid. There's only one place, my guy. Come to the Arsenal. We're going to be in Champions League. If you come to the Arsenal and lead us to go get the double, we win the league with you in the back leading it. And listen, England is Hollywood of football, bro. That's where all the money is. You get... you. you you could become you, you you ascend into into the stratosphere of of godlike worshiping because you're playing in the Premier League, bro. Look how they're talking about Man United because they beat PSG on luck. Look how they're talking about those guys. Imagine you come to Arsenal and you better than them dudes. You come to Arsenal and you solidify our defense. We got Unai Emre. You guys speak Spanish together. Come on, amigo. Eh? Open your eye. If you leave Real Madrid, there's only one place for you to go. The Emirates. Come hang out with. And we got Dennis Suarez, too. We got Nacho Monreal. Who else we got that's Spanish? Uh, oh, we got Mesut Ozil. That's your best friend, bro. You love Mesut Ozil. Sergio, fam. There's no other. That's it right there. Mesut Ozil is your guy. Come rock with Mesut again at the Emirates. Forget Juve. Don't go to Juve. They win the league when they don't even try. It's boring over there. Come on, man. You know, you, I know you hear me, bro. Sergio Ramos. I'm saying it right now. Sergio Ramos coming to the Arsenal in the summer. Sergio Ramos is coming. Yep. That's the center back we're gonna get. We're not getting Koulibaly. We're not getting uh, Delay from 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 Ajax. We're getting Sergio Ramos. Come on, baby. It's a good day. Now I gotta get ready for training with my team. 2-0 to the Arsenal. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, say whatever you got to say. Subscribe at the bottom. If you don't, it's all good. Daddy. Come on, you Arsenal. We're in top four. Champions League next season. Daddy. Peace.